what would you say to those who hear this and they look out their door and they say, well, my land is barren and burned? Well, I would say, number one, that I understand that because it could be they were abused. It could be they lost everything because of a setback. It could be they have cancer. It could be they're struggling with anxiety, mental illness. So I'm not giving quick solutions here. I mean, I'm the guy that gets in the trenches with the biggest celebrities in the world. And um, and when I'm with these people, male and female, I'm not always trying to give fancy answers. I'm just like sitting in the in the in the crap with people. That's my strength. But when they're ready to hear, then I do believe this. I believe that life will make a way where there seems there is no way. And you look at where Oprah Winfrey started, abuse, early pregnancy by her, losing a child, um, feeling unorthodox, trying to find her way. And she is one of the most well-known persons on the planet from Mississippi. She was hurting in Mississippi, now one of the most well-known people on the planet. So you never know what's going to happen if you're willing to cooperate and plow the ground, plant the seed, water the seed, and reap the harvest. Sometimes you got to see things that are not there yet by faith. With with that said, and I'm hearing this, I'm absorbing it, and that's why I just had this moment. I was like, that's so true. I look at all these experiences of my life and would have led me to this moment. And even the thousands of people that I've coached, I'm like, this took patience, took yeah. grace. It took empathy. It took so many things. And you said something, you've got to be ready to hear it. What do you think is the transitional moment that people have in common in which they're ready to hear? Is If there even is one. You no, know, I think that it's, it's different things for different people. So rock bottom to, to you may be a different rock bottom to me. Somebody, somebody get a DUI is rock bottom, and to others, some, somebody else is not. It's like, oh, I'll get through that. I'll just keep rolling. So I think that the, the, you could either learn from the rocks or learn from the rudder. And so I would rather be led by the rudder on a ship than continue to hit the rocks. So for me, seeing my family hit rocks, hit rocks, hit rocks, hit rocks, hit rocks, for generations, I decided to start walking in wisdom and lead my family through the rudder. And so mm -hmm. I think it's just like an aha moment where you just, like, I, lo I love rap. So it's like Kanye West, wake up, Mr. West, Mr. West, Mr. Everybody's Best. You got to wake up. You got to wake up. And so... Whatever your wake up is, that's it. Then you got to just say, what I'm doing is not working. I just heard Tim's story on Unbroken Podcast. He was dope. Michael's dope. I think I'll pay attention. Plow, plant, water, harvest. Nobody feels like plowing. You think farmers feel like going out there and plowing? <laughs> no, they do it because they walk by faith and they look for the harvest in their mindset. You walk by faith. 